Welcome to EIS Music Studio. This is Savi. This is a, an update of what I have so far. So, as you can see here, I added uh, different parts to this character. My goal was to create this to the character that I created in Gris Pencil to make it 3D. That was my goal. Oh, it's still my goal because I still have to be working on different parts. Um, so let me just give you some tips. I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some information, important information that you should know when you create your 3D characters. Okay, so let's see. Where do I start? Let me start telling you what I have done so far. Let me hide my 2D character. Okay, so here is the, the 3D character. I added, as you can see, I added the hair, and I also added the ponytail. Wanted to add a ponytail. It's a very simple way to do it. Okay, and I can show you right now. Let me go to, what I did was, I, I create this, using a skin modifier okay if you go to we can go to edit mode let me go here and as you can see here it's just a simple oh okay okay that's what that's why okay so it is a simple simple way of doing or modeling it's a simple way of modeling okay and I let I left it like this just to modify it if I want to if this is a good way to do it as well because if you want to create armature you can do it as well okay so that is what I have done with this one this is how I did the, this is how I did the ponytail Secondly, let's see what what else in the also the hair for the hair as you as you can see on the last one the last video for the hair what I did was I use this so I can also modify that that would be what, a curve yeah I use the this one for the hair and then okay I also let me continue so I started with a simple body mesh okay and I will show you the process of how I do my let me put it over here so you can see and if I if you can see here it's a very simple way it's just cylinders and what I did was I just did half of it as you can see here we I have a mirror modifier see and I also added this let me hide the, the hair Okay. Let me hide everything here. Yeah, it's here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I also added retopology. Very, very, very important to add this retopology. Like, let me just go here. See, this, like this. Then we have one that comes from here to there. And there's another one that comes from here to here like this. See? And then I added this one. And for the lips. Okay. And of course this one here. And, and I have one right in the middle of my character. That goes all the way down over here. Okay. Let me hide the the short see see go 
goes all the way down. This is, let me come over here. Let me put it on this side. Move it to the side. Put it right there. Let me go here. See? So like this. Yeah, there you go. So, very simple. And then what I did was, I created, I re retopology this part. And the next thing that I did is I started creating the shirt, the shorts, the belt. And uh, very, it was very simple to do. For example, let me give you one example. Look at this one. Well, the way I did the, the shoulder guard is I just went to this part, this, this body to, this is the main mesh. I went here, edit mode, and I just selected this part. Uh, let me hide it. Let me hide. Actually, let me come here and let me hide this so you can see what I did. Okay, so what I did is I, I took this, this part over here, all these faces, and I went around, back all this part, and I press Control D. No, I press Shift D. To duplicate it, okay. After I duplicate this, I press P. Then I press P to separate it, and that's it. And that's how I created uh, the shirt, the, the 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 skirt, and the the clothes of the and the clothes and every part of the clothes of this character. Let me go back. Let me go back and bring this one back. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's how I created this. As you can see here. See? Very good topology as well. And another thing that I did is once I created this, I added. this modifier the mirror subdivision and i also uh, added a solidify to add thickness to it see add that thickness and okay see Okay, what else? The thickness I put it on zero one, and it's uh, offset minus one. For the necklace, I added a the monkey. Uh, I think it's Susan. Yeah, that's that's the name of the monkey, Susan, right here. And it's, uh, you can find Susan right, right here, you add mesh and monkey. There you go. This is Susan. And uh, what I did with Susan was I added a subdivision. And that's it. That's all I did with Susan. Now. <clears throat> this part over here, this is a simple um, curve. Uh, this one, the circle. Actually, I'm sorry, this one, the path. And I combine it with this as well. With this as well. 
See? To make those little designs over here. See? And this is very simple. It's not difficult. I can show you another in another uh, video how to create this and combine it together so you can modify this by using this. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, can you show me how I did this part over here? The, the teeth part of how I did it? You didn't see the whole process, but I'll show you a little bit of it, a little review. Oh, okay, yes. Then, let me show you these. I wanted to create this. Let me hide this so I can show you over here. Yes, I wanted to create this. I did this in the, it's, my character has this in his, in her hand. See, this stick. So my, I wanted to duplicate that in 3D. So it's, again, very simple to do. And what I did was, let me just hide this. And what is, okay, here, mesh. Okay, what I did, what I did was, let me hide. This, the school head. Okay. Let, let me hide that. Okay. So what I did was, let me hide the main character. Well. Okay. There you go. So to create this, very very simple. What I did was I went to. I create that with the skin modifier. And I got a subdivision. See? Let me go to Edmo so you can see what I did. Here, press this so you can see what I did. And I create this with the skin modifier. As you can see here, I still have it. I haven't not applied it yet. See? Very simple. I started with let me shift it, duplicate this one, put it over here. So what I did is I created the skin modifier. Then I just press E to extrude, see? E to extrude, E to extrude, and so on. And that's how I did this. Okay. Beautiful. So what else? Okay, let me talk about the, let's talk about materials. Okay, let's talk about the materials. So if I go, if you, if you go here, if I go here to the shading, what I did was, oh, by the way, since I'm over here, you see this one? Uh, you UQ paint UQ paint. This is an add-on to to add details to the character or to the mesh. What else? Okay, let me hide that. All right. So what I was talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we go to shading here, right? And this is just a simple. A principal BSTF, okay, and I modify this to give it like this type of material like this, and even that one and this one. I have the base color, okay. I added the base color, then I modify this a little bit over here. This is the setting that I have. If I play with the roughness, as you can see here. And if I go to here, it's gonna see. It's gonna be more brighter. See, 
the less roughness, more brightness you will see. See that? That's why these has so much brightness. See it right here? Because I put it all away in 105. Okay? 105. So let's put it back where it was. Because this is the skin. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I think this is fine. A little bit more. I think that's good. That's good. I think it was in the 200 and something. That's fine. Okay, so here is the setting, just in case you want to know the setting of it. And this is a good way to create things that are wet, like in the mouth, too. Let me hide the main part. Okay. Look, this shows that it's wet. So, what you can do is, see? It's a part that is wet in the mouth, right? So, this is a good way to create... You can put it on 105, the roughness, 105. And you can look at the other setting that I did. It's very simple. <laughs> it's very, very simple. It's not that difficult. Okay, let me go back. Okay, next. How did I add the material? Can you... And I'm going to show you that with this one here. So how did I add the material? This material over here. The way I did it was I, let me go to edit mode first. Go to edit, let's see, edit mode. In edit mode, if you go here, you be, you can unwrap. Once you unwrap this, right? You have to unwrap. There's another part that's a smart UV project. Okay? But you really need to unwrap this. This. You have to unwrap it. The way I unwrap this is I think about, let's say, oh, let me show you this, this one. Let me show you this one. So, as you can see here, the way I unwrap this is very simple. All I have to do is I selected this part over here, this, okay? And I went here to edges and I mark seam. The reason is I just wanted to, I just wanted to cut it in half. So I cut this one in half so I can have the front and the back separated. So I want the, the back and the front separated. And as you can see, oh, I gotta hide this. Shoulder, so I can show you. Also, right over here too, see? I added this so I can just cut it right there. And that's it. Very simple, I just did half of this and here. See? That's it. And uh, when I cut it in half, uh, I didn't have to do the other side. Why? Because I have, I have a mirror modifier. I added a mirror modifier, so all I had to do is just work on half of it. That's it half of it. Perfect. So let me go bring this over here. Shoulder. Okay. All right. So let's go back to this. And once you, well, okay, edit mode. Once you add you unwrap it, you unwrap this. What you need to do is 
you go to shading okay in shading we have a simple I have a simple principle BSDF and a material output that's it however I want to add the material that I created once you create a normal map and I'm going to show you in a few seconds okay so if I come over here to add see add you go to texture and then image texture if you can if you come over here I created this material and uh and the norm no, a normal map okay just two and I'm going to show you how I, I did this too so the first thing that I do is I'm going to add this one just to this and you won't see it yet because I need to connect this one to this see now you will be able to see you get it closer there you go and I put it in color space non-color and single image single image now the next thing that I did was to add the normal map what you need to do is you press shift D and duplicate this one right let me put it down a little bit over here and now make sure that this is on non-color okay and now I can select my normal normal map you won't be able to see the effect yet because we need to add a norm, normal map so what you do is I come here I'm going to go to search it's another way of looking instead of looking for it over here I go to search and I press and I type normal map it is right there so in the normal map all I have to do is connect this the color to color and on the map you will see it down over here put it down here there it is right there so you connect this with this mm -hmm. okay yeah let me and yeah okay so that is my normal map beautiful let me go back to layout yep okay do this one white uh, let me change that the color the material let me instead of the color you can always uh, uh, change the regular material by going here see you go here where is the material and it's a simple material you can change it right there at the base color I think I'm gonna go let me see yeah that's good okay so for the next okay what else I need to do Oh, okay this 
lastly let's this one is a simple I added two simple material for this okay this one this call is very simple if I go here to edit mode what I did was I added two material the one inside this inside the eyes and the main material which is the rest of it is white so I added white and yellow two material how did I do it in here which is this so what I did was I went here and I selected all this inside of it all this it was white right and I just press assign see I, assign, I can assign that over here select assign it okay once you create the new material you can assign it to it that's it that's it so I just select this all this and I select the material that I want to assign it and just assign for example let me just give one example let's say we want this okay in another color maybe we want this in another color you come here you got a new material see the material let's say you want black okay and this is going to be black this is a new material so once you select the parts that you want in black and you select the material you assign that material okay and that's that's it see but this is not what we want we don't want that so let me delete that okay so that's how i did this part in this another thing that i'm working on is i added you go here to this collection i added the i'm rigging i added the bones to rig this character as well i still need to work on these see still working on that but uh, that is the idea see and this is a this is a meta rig rig some meta rig and you can find the mega rig you can find the mega rig right here you got add and you have it over the amateur and human meta rig this is a, a atom that comes with blender if you're not familiar with blender all you need to do is just come over here adam and you press you look for riggy five riggy five here it is riggy five and i riggy five you click on this and then you will be able to see it thank you thank you for supporting this channel don't forget to save and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.